Hi, welcome to Magpie Moonchild. My name is Kaylee, and this is a deck unboxing of the Hocus Pocus tarot deck and guidebook. It is a Disney deck, um, and other Disney decks and similar decks that I have in the collection that are the same as these are the Villains tarot deck. We have the Alice in Wonderland tarot deck, the Labyrinth one, again, another popular one, the Nightmare Before Christmas. This was kind of the one that really started all these going. <laughs> Um, so this is the Hocus Pocus deck and I love that it's come out in time for us all to have it with plenty of time before Halloween and obviously the release of the movie later this month in September, I think it's next week, I could be wrong. Um, so tarot deck and guidebook, let's have a look. So I'm going to take the plastic off, as we always do, and you can see it is a two-part box with thumb holes, thumb holes are everything on two-part boxes for me. So we have this gorgeous cover picture of the sisters, the Sanderson sisters on the front and we have foiled hocus pocus there flashing um, at us and there are these little dots as well that are also metallic embossed on there as well. So the official tarot deck based on the classic Disney film on one side, hocus pocus, the tarot deck and guidebook on the top, insight editions on the bottom and then we have written by Minerva Siegel and Tori Schaefer, illustrated by Dread. And it says, bring a touch of witchcraft into your tarot practice with this official tarot deck inspired by Disney's classic film Hocus Pocus, featuring beautiful illustrations of Max and Danny Dennison, the Sanderson sisters, Thackeray Banks, and many more as the classic tarot characters. Includes fully illustrated 78 card deck and 128 page guidebook. Um, and then it has the official um, barcode there. So two part box, pull it apart. It is plain edged and plain lined. Um, I will get to the guidebook in a minute, but they're always decent sized guidebooks in here. We have the ribbon to lift out of this box. We have the candlestick inside on the um, imagery on there. Um, the back is this, it's not reversible in the sense that you can tell which way up it is, it's dark, it is matte printed, um, but very easy to leave marks on that matte printed card deck, um, and I've washed my hands and they're clean, so yeah, um, but they have this speckled back design, so let's see, we have the Fool, the Magician, the High Priestess, yes, follow me children. The Empress, the Emperor, the Hierophant, absolutely. The Lovers, the Chariot, apparently there's Roombas, she's on Roombas this time round. Strength, the Hermit, the Wheel of Fortune, Justice, Suspension, instead of a hanged man, Transformation, Temperance, The Master, instead of the Devil, The Tower, The Star, The Moon, The Sun, Judgment, and the world. So we then have the King of Potions, the Queen of Potions, the Knight of Potions, and the Page of Potions, the Ace of Potions, the Two of Potions, this is where it, the Three of Potions, the Four of Potions, as always it's a pip deck really, the Five of Potions, the six of potions, the seven, the eight, the nine, and the ten. Then we have the king of candles, the queen of candles, the knight of candles, and the page of candles, the ace, and then we have the two, the three, the four, the five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the ten of candles. Then we have the king of pumpkins, 
the Queen of Pumpkins, the Knight of Pumpkins, the Page, the Ace, the Two, the Three, the Four, Five, Six, Seven, Eight, Nine, and the Ten of Pumpkins. Then we go into the King of Lightning, the Queen of Lightning, the Knight of Lightning, the Page of Lightning, the Ace, and then we have the Two, the Three, the Four, Five, Six, Seven, Eight, Nine of Lightning, and the ten of lightning so as always they've picked images that loosely fit in the major arcana and then they've taken imagery to fit in the um the lower arcana um knights without a person on it and yeah it sometimes feels like they've pushed these out because they are that film with these decks and i found it with i'll be honest all of them all the ones that I've shown you previously, they really haven't paid much attention to the lower arcana. Um, yes, there's actually some figures in the lower arcana, but they don't really tie up with the card meanings. Um, and this is more of a novelty deck um, than a good working deck, shall we say. Um, which is a shame because you could be bringing people into the world of tarot in a much more structured traditional traditional with a twist is always good fun this is um like the two of candles there's nothing there to explain what that means um there's no imagery that kind of supports the meanings they've just put three pictures of pumpkins it's um which is it's fine if it's tarot de marseille style but again um like the knight of potions is just a potion there's no real kind of, I don't know, it just feels half done for me personally. That's just how I feel about all of these Disney decks because, yeah, so people all think, oh, that's so-and-so, so-and-so. Um, I don't know. It, it toes the line of tarot, let's put it that way. Right, let's see. Hocus Pocus Tarot Deck Guidebook. Um... It's a proper bound book. It's a decent size. Let's see what's inside it. So we have Hocus Pocus Tarot Guidebook contents, as always. As always, there should be. And then we have an introduction. Understanding your tarot deck. Um, and then we have the major arcana. So we have the full, um, a description, upright meaning, reverse meaning, and then a full colour image. I do like that there's a full colour image. I loves me a full colour image on a deck. We then go into the minor arcana and we have the suit of candles. So it goes king, queen, knight, page and it has the upright meaning, the reverse meaning and a full colour image at the bottom. So they are a page each. Um, and then it goes ace through to the ten. So as we've seen it in the um, suit. So we have lightning, pumpkin, um, potions, then we have tarot readings, a section on tarot readings, uh, caring for your deck, preparing to read tarot. Does it have anything about clean, cleansing, protection? No? Okay. Spreads, wisdom of witches, the cat's eye spread, hocus pocus spread, and then a bit about the authors and the artists. Drea D, not Dread, Drea D. It looks like Dread on the back. Drea D. Um, and then obviously the publication details there. It's glued there badly. It's pulling. Um, so yeah, that's the Hocus Pocus guidebook to go with it. Um, if you are new and this is the first time you've seen a tarot deck or you're using a tarot deck, 
please make sure you look into grounding your energy, cleansing your energy and protecting yourself while you are working with spirit. Um, it's really important that you do that because obviously you're um, working with different energies. So um, to help you be centered and navigate that, it's really important that you do those things. So anyway, that is the Hocus Pocus tarot deck. Um, I'll be honest, it's what I expected. It wasn't anything over the top amazing. Um, they've put some characters into the lower arcana, but again, it's very much a Pip deck, um, Tarot de Marseille style deck rather than uh, a Rider Waite Smith based deck. Um, quality is okay with the cards. Um, it will casino shuffle. It will also um, hand over shuffle really well. It's not sticky. It is matte. So um, any slight greasiness to your cup, um, to your hands at all. It's going to leave marks on those cards. Um, so obviously make sure that you're using them completely clean hands. Not that anybody doesn't use tarot cards with completely clean hands, but um, it shows things up more on the card stock, unfortunately. Um, but for the price point, less than £20, it's it's a decent deck. Um, it, to be honest, I have the Disney ones in for novelty rather than actual use, just because I love The Nightmare Before Christmas and I love Labyrinth and I love Alice in Wonderland and I love the Disney villains and I love Hocus Pocus. Um, I just think if a little bit more time had been put into it, a little more attention to the traditional system and you've got all these people buying them as novelties, you could have introduced people to a self-care tour in a much more structured um, way that would give people an incredible tool to, to be working with. But that's just my personal point of view. Um, so yeah, hopefully you found this um, unboxing useful in some way. And I thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.